Well, you've almost certainly already seen it, but you probably won't mind seeing it again. If you're anywhere near a screen this weekend, you probably saw Mr. Felix Bumgartner plummeting at what was apparently the speed of sound falling from some 24 miles from the edge of space to the surface of the Earth. The stunt funded by Red Bull to get people talking apparently, and boy has it succeeded. Shown live on YouTube, the event brought in a record number of eyeballs. Some say as many as 8 million simultaneous viewers, and it's of course spurred countless mashups and memes, including this image that gets to the heart of a deeper question. Government cuts funding to NASA. We'll take it from here, guys. Joining us now to talk a little bit about the science and the story behind it is Emmy Kalawaway, who anchored our coverage. Um, good to have you here. Good to be here. So how much of a thing is this? We had the, this jump sponsored by Red Bull. We have SpaceX. We've got Richard Branson, all private space exploration. Is this where we're headed? It seems to be. I mean, it's what um, NASA has shown that they are open to. They've actually put out requests for proposals for private corporations to take on some of the space travel responsibility. And just recently, actually, SpaceX has done its first of what I believe are 12 missions that it's going to do, sort of just doing cargo delivery to and from the space station. Space travel seems darn expensive. Mm -hmm. Like. How can Red Bull, are they selling enough Red Bull to, you know, fund the space program? Well, Red Bull has not disclosed how much um, this particular jump has cost them. I, I would hazard a pretty safe guess that they cannot afford the entirety of the space program, but I would say that, you know, if something like, you know, Baumgartner's highly technical achievement is within their reach, then yes, I think that more corporations will be able to take on um, a lot of the costs associated with space travel. Do we know anything about his condition today? Um, we know that he is, well, first and foremost, obviously alive, um, which was a big <laughs> Step concern. one. Step yeah. one. Oh, yeah. um, but he um, had said that he had a lot of pressure in his head when he was coming down. Um, he did say, he acknowledged that he was in a flat, sprint, flat spin where the legs and the uh, head revolve around the torso briefly, just sort of sending a lot of blood sort of almost centrifugal, centrifugally to the feet and to the head. Um, so and he that's had, bad. That's bad. Um, so he did experience that as to the ramifications of that. He's sort of stayed away from interviews for the day, um, so I think we're going to probably learn more about that as time goes on. We've seen a real outpouring of response, and here's actually one of my favorites, this Lego video, mm -hmm. which is like amazing. <laughs> um, but it gets to, and I'll just like vamp as we just watch this because it's so amazing. Um, but it gets to, to like the response and the, the excitement that this event has created oh, wow. that, that I can't remember anything in our generation ever having this impact for people into space. Yeah, the, actually the closest uh, event that, I, that comes to mind for me is the Mars rover. Um, I'm pretty new to space coverage. Um, I started in politics, so I was a, a little divorced from it. But you know, when I was doing the Mars rover coverage, it was amazing the number of people online. And I did that coverage from 11 p.m. to about 4 a.m. The, the next day. Mohawk guy came out of that. I want to say that story had legs for about a week and a half. So a, there's a lot of news coming out of space exploration and, there's, and that I think is generated in large part by the great deal of interest and vice versa. Um, NASA has, you know, provided a wealth of information um, just for free online and they do so because there's just so many people who are genuinely interested. Yeah, and I guess the question is whether that interest actually leads to more exploration exactly. and we'll see. Plenty of money for NASA. I don't know why they don't just quadruple the budget. Yeah, I know, right? They have, they have no fiscal problems. <laughs> None uh, whatsoever. Emmy, thanks so much. Thank and, uh, you. Good work this weekend on Thank the reporting. Thank you so much.